Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Okay. Good evening, teacher. Okay, good evening. Good evening from uh, this Tuesday. We are going to begin a couple of minutes. I know that it's been raining uh, heavily in different places. From yes. So some people have some problems, right? With connection, yes. electricity. They don't have internet or I don't know. They, ha they have some problems. But we're about to, to start. How was your day? It was good? It was a good day? Yes, right? Yes. Okay, very good. So, so, okay, very good. But so hot. Yes, it was really hot. It was really yes. hot. Hot. And at mm. the end, yes. Yeah, right now it's raining here. Right now it's raining in your house. Yes, and the uh, internet is very bad it's really bad okay it's i bad. understand yes many people that so th some of them don't have uh, electricity or internet they yes. have some problems but hopefully they will yes. they will be able to join us later or they will be able okay. to to watch it later okay the the class okay. so if you have any problem just let me know and we are going to begin okay. with um with a little review. What did we study yesterday? What did we, like what kind of vocabulary did we study? Who knows? Jenny Sanchez, what kind of vocabulary did we study yesterday? Jenny, are you there? Can you hear me? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. What kind At of the moment, I don't, I don't remember. But if you give me a, a minute, I, I, I search in my notes. Okay, no problem. Yes, take your time. No problem. Who knows? Why did we study yesterday? ¿Qué vimos ayer? ¿Qué estudiamos ayer? Book. Uh -huh. About what? The simple pass. Simple past and what else? And, uh, present perfect. Present perfect and what else? And food, right? We studied food. food. Yes. Different kind of food, strange food, food from El Salvador, like pupusas, tamales, lote. Yes, different things, right? So beans we're, and eggs. Beans, beans and eggs, exactly. <laughs> So we are going to continue right now with that kind of vocabulary, but also you had a homework, right? Yes. What was the homework about? About the present perfect and the present, and present past. perfect and the simple past and simple, simple past. past. Exactly, exactly. So who wants to begin? What is the simple past and what is the simple the present perfect and what is the difference? No. The simple past is the verb stands uh, describing the event uh, that already happened. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, exactly. And is the present the perfect? Past. The person perfect um, on uh, the, pro the propose of this verb tense is the link the past mm -hmm. with the present. Okay, I know. Okay. But is if I investigate. <laughs> okay, very good. So the simple past is something that already happened, and the present perfect is something that is still relevant today, right? In the present, that is the purpose. Okay, can you give me an example of a simple past? I need an example. Can anybody give me an example? Um, I, I eat. Uh huh. Okay. Who wants to participate? Jenny, do you want to give me an example? Simple pass. Yes, a simple pass, like an example. I. She had a headache yesterday. Very good. She had a headache yesterday. Tuvo dolor de cabeza ayer. Very good. 
Very good. And can we use the simple past in negative? Can we use the simple past in negative? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, right. Okay. Now I need another participant. Can I can anybody tell me a negative statement in simple past? Una oración en negativo en pasado simple. ¿Algún ejemplo alguien? I did it. Uh, she, she wasn't she wasn't sick yesterday. She wasn't sick yesterday. Very good. Very good. She wasn't sick yesterday. And do we do we use uh, the auxiliary didn't for the simple past or no? Yes. 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 We can the auxiliary the auxiliary did, but you the verb in tense. Exactly. Like, but... uh, for example, mm -hmm. uh, she she did. It. Okay, for example, she didn't eat pupusas yesterday, but in the sentence that Luis said first, right? He said she wasn't sick yesterday. We, we didn't use the auxiliary there. Why? We didn't use didn't. She wasn't sick yesterday. Why? Ahí no usamos el auxiliar DIREN. ¿Por qué no usamos el auxiliar DIREN ahí? Because uh, in that case, uh, it was using the verb D. Because in that, in that case, we were using the verb to be. Yes. Yes, okay, yes, exactly. And the, and the, uh -huh. the in, in the, in the, yeah we we have some problems with your connection Luis but I uh, very good we we don't use the auxiliary yeah. with the verse to be very good Estella so uh, do you agree with them Estella Yes. And Anthony. They said that, uh, for example, I was asking for a statement in negative, right? In negative and past. And some sentences we use the auxiliary didn't. For example, she didn't eat pupusas yesterday and she wasn't sick. Why do we use didn't in some sentences and why we use, we don't use it? What, what, how, how is the rule or, or why do we use it in, in some sentences with some verbs? What is the exception? I don't know. You don't know. Who, who can help her? Can I put you that para explicar? In some sentences, we you use the auxiliary didn't, right? For negative statements. And in some sentences, we don't use it. Why? Because we use the verb to be aren't, uh, don't use the auxiliary did. Exactly. When we use the verb to be in the past, we don't use didn't, right? For example, she wasn't sick. We don't use she didn't was or she didn't is sick. No, that is incorrect. It's just she wasn't sick. And in the past, uh, for example, with the verb eat, we use it, right? She didn't eat pupusas. And other verbs, we use didn't also. She didn't eat, she didn't run, she didn't write, she didn't study. But with the verb to be, no, right? Okay, very good. Let's see who else. Um, and can we use the verb to be in interrogative sentences? I'm sorry, the verb to be, no, the, the simple past, sorry. Can we use the simple past? In questions, interrogative, podemos usar el pasado simple en preguntas, sí o no? Yes. yes. Yes, right. An example, can anybody give me an example, please? Sí. 
Me too. Me too, Jim. Okay, go ahead, Balmore. Was she cooking yesterday? Was she cooking yesterday? Yes, very and good. Another example uh -huh. be, did you study yesterday or last week? Very good, okay. Natalia. Mm -hmm. Did you study yesterday or did you study last week? And in this case, we use the same, right? We use um, the same rule with the auxiliary. We don't use the auxiliary did for the verb to be, and we use it with other verbs like study, eat, run, etc. right? Very good. And who can tell me an example with present perfect? Now have you us. ever been in Los Angeles? Have you ever been in Los Angeles? Very good. Have you ever for, been? Very good. For and now, example is, my teacher has traveled by plane twice. My teacher has traveled? By plane twice. Yeah. By plane twice. Okay, very good. My teacher has traveled by plane twice. Very good. That's a, 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 a affirmative statement. Now, can anybody give me a negative? Negativa. My teacher has traveled by plane twice. Very good. My teacher hasn't traveled by plane twice. Very good. Very good. So in this case, hasn't, right? We don't use the auxiliary. We just use not. Very good. Now we are going to review that. Thank you very much for your participation. I think that you have investigated that. We are just going to review. If you remember these classes, I just, if you have doubts, right? If you have any question, if you don't understand anything, I can, we can provide more examples. We can provide more, um, more exercises, but actually you have done this already, right? So this is just to review, just to review the distances. So we are going to do some exercises, but first, just to clarify, we are going to review it one more time. So this is the grammar that we are going to study this week. Simple past versus present perfect. And it says, use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. El, el pasado simple lo usamos para eventos ya completados en el pasado. Y el presente perfecto, or, or present perfect, for events within a time period up to the present. So, uh, el presente perfecto, como decía Luis Urias, eh, lo usamos para eventos que ya pasaron, pero lo podemos traer o son relevantes el presente. También tiene otros usos, pero ya lo vamos a ver. Y ahí ten, eh, in the platform, we have examples, right? Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I tried them last month. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? No, I haven't. But I ate a Thai restaurant last night. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. So in these conversations, in these sentences, we can see that we can combine both uh, tenses, right? The simple past and the present perfect. For example, if I want to ask you about an event that happened in the past, I don't know the time, but uh, probably we are talking about that or it's relevant at this moment. I use the present perfect. I asked you about that. Have you done this? Have you gone to this place? Have you tried this? And then you tell me, yes, no, I have, I haven't. And then after that, you can uh, start explaining yourself with the past, right? The simple past. So that's how we combine it. First, probably we begin with the present perfect, and then we can continue the conversation in simple past because we talked about the, the actions that already happened. So that is the way to combine it. That's the way uh, we use it in conversations. And it says, uh, it says here, we use them to talk about past experiences, to describe an action that is being repeated between the past and present, to describe an action that is started in the past and is still continuing in the future, to describe an action that has not yet been finished, and to describe an action that, that was completed in the recent past. This is the structure because actually the platform doesn't uh, explain that much the structure. This is the present perfect structure, like for affirmative sentences, I have tried sushi. 
we use subject plus have or has, depending on the pronoun, plus past participle, and then the complement, right? Then we have negative statements, subject plus have not. We don't use auxiliary there. We use have not. That is the contraction is having or has not. Contraction is hasn't plus past participle plus the complement. I have not tried sushi. And questions, right? Have or has plus subject plus past participle. And then the complement. Have you tried sushi? So we have different ways to, to say, right? And here we have different examples with all the pronouns in positive, negative, and a question, a positive question. Like for example, I have seen, I haven't seen, or I have not seen, or have I seen, right? And we can see here that with the pronoun he, with the pronouns, he, she, it, it changes, right? To has, has, she has, it has. So that's uh, really simple, right? That's really easy. I don't know if you have any questions about the present perfect. Doubts, preguntas? No questions? No questions. Okay, very good. And these are the structures that we use uh, or we can see in the platform. For example, have for these pronouns, I, you, we, they, has, he, she, it. And this is the structure for questions, actually. Have or has plus subject plus, e plus ever plus past participle plus complement. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. If we are asked with the present perfect, we need to answer with the present perfect. Ever is a frequency adverb. We can omit it if we want to, okay? So this one, this word in green, uh, we can take it out from the question, right? So if you want to. It means alguna vez, have you ever? Alguna vez has probado esto? Alguna vez has probado lo otro? That's the meaning. And this is like... Um, this is the same structure. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And this is like an example how we can combine both tenses. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. So if the question is in a simple past, the answer is in simple past, right? So that's that's something that we have to respect. Si la pregunta es en pasado, usted responde en pasado. Y si le preguntan en presente perfecto, usted también tiene que responder en el mismo tiempo. Presente perfecto. So, those will be um, the structures that we are going to study here. Also, we came, well, this is the structure that we have seen in the past, like, like have or has plus subject plus ever plus past participle. And we have more examples here, like have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? And uh, we can use these, these words or uh, these sentences also, right? So that is the present perfect. So the simple past is an action that took place and ended in the past without any information being given about what its repercussion has been in the present time. Example, when I was young, I played tennis. It doesn't give us any information about whether I am currently still playing tennis or not. This morning, I had a very tense meeting with my boss. It's already afternoon, so the morning is over. And yesterday I went to the cinema with my friends. So things that already ended, right? And it's, it says present perfect action that began in the past and still developing. I have worked in this bank for 10 years. Probably it means that I'm still working in the bank. I have lived in Barcelona for five years. It probably says that I'm still living in Barcelona and I have never seen this film before, okay? And these are the past participles. Past participles, you have, you have to learn it by heart, right? Have you studied the verbs already? ¿Ya se aprendieron los pasados participios? ¿O todavía no? Soso. Soso. So, so. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. So, so. So you have to learn them by heart. Okay. So, so. You have to learn the past and the past participles. And remember that we have regular and irregular verbs. We are going to check that in a while. 
So, for example, yo he caminado, I have walked, ¿verdad? That is like, um, that would be the equivalent in Spanish. And la casa fue construida en 1990, the house was built in 1990, right? Él ha dormido bien, he has slept well. So, ese es el equivalente del presente perfecto en español. Ustedes han visto la película, you all have seen the movie. It is very similar, the usage of the auxiliary in Spanish. We need to use the past participle of the verbs in the present sure. perfect tense. I have a question in mm -hmm. the second sentences. Mm -hmm. Where is the auxiliary have? You use the to be the verb to be. La casa fue construida in 1990. The house was yes. built. The house was built. The, the house was but, built. That was, um, I think that that is past, right? That is past. Simple right? it's, past. It's only yes, simple, simple past. Okay. Yes, okay. it's in simple past. It's not okay. uh, present perfect. Exactly. I heard you that you said present perfect, but not. <laughs> no, there is a, a oh, simple okay. past. That's okay. <laughs> Okay, very good. So, what is the past participle? What is the past participle? For regular verbs, they are uh, the endings in ed, right? They don't change. It's the same. Walked, cooked, baked, like. That is the past participle for regular verbs. And for irregular verbs, is the third column of the list in the irregular verbs in the past participle. So, this is... Uh, these are all of them are irregular verbs. We have the verb to be, do, eat, feel, find, get, and we have a lot of verbs. And then we have the simple past, right? We use the past of the verbs. The past of the verb to be is was or were. And the past participle is been. I have been. That this is the one that we are going to use for the present perfect. So you have to know all of them, all of them. For example, noun, new noun, leave, left, left. It's different, right? With the irregular verbs. Regular verbs are kind of easier in, in that way. Okay. So uh, as, as a conclusion, we can say that simple past, we can use it for completed events at a definite time in the past. I went to Valparaiso last weekend. And present perfect events that happen at an indefinite time in the past. I have been to Valparaiso. Events that began in the past and continue up to the present. I have traveled to Valparaiso on weekends for five years. And with ever and never, right? I have never been to Valparaiso. And ever is more used in, in questions. What are the difference between the simple past and the present perfect? But that is, those are the differences, right? And this is like, yes, go ahead, Stella. No, I'm sorry. Okay, so uh, this is just the comparisons with the present perfect and simple past. We can identify the differences here with different colors. And you can see here that in green is the present perfect, in orange is the present tense of the verb. And black is the present tense of the verb, sorry. And orange is the past participle and blue is the past tense. So those are the different things. We use different auxiliaries and we use different tenses, right? And the usage, right? Do you have any question right now? Preguntas acerca del uso, la gramática, el orden, fórmulas, afirmativas, negativas. Do you have any question? No questions. Okay, no questions. Natalia, Olivia, Gabriela, Rufino, Tatiana, Patricia, Levi, Angela, Alejandra, Griselda. Everything's clear, right? Okay, now let's choose someone. Let's choose someone here. Let's see. Gabriela Cortez, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, I want you to help me with this exercise. This exercise uh, from English, right? This sentence is incomplete. Have you ever to a picnic at the beach? What is the best uh, option to complete the, the sentence? Have you ever to a picnic at the beach?
talk. Have you ever talked to a picnic at the beach? ¿Alguna mm. vez has hablado a un picnic en la playa? Gone, it could be gone, teacher. Gone. Yes, very good. Have you ever gone? Very good. Have you ever gone to a picnic at the beach? That is a very good option. Alguna vez has ido, ¿verdad? Or we can say, well, and the answer, yes. If we, if the, if the question is with have, what is the answer? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Very yes, good. I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. We ate, right? Eight hours. Very good. Have you ever, in this case, the option gone is, is okay, but have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? It's okay. It's uh -huh. very good. Alguna vez has estado, ¿verdad? Have you ever been? Yes, I have. We cooked hamburgers. That is another option, right? We cooked hamburgers. Now we have another one. Have you sushi? What do you think is that? Eat. How would you eating? Eat. Eating. Eating. Ah. Eating. Eating. I-N-G. You ever try eating. sushi? Eating. 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 Very good. Eating, eating. 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 Uh -huh. Let's see. Eating or eating. It says no. And what is the answer? No, I haven't. I haven't. No, I haven't. I have because if you, I the haven't. question is have, it's the answer haven't, right? No, I haven't, but I like to. Let's see. Have you tried? Eaten is okay, right? Eaten is okay, but this one it says, have you tried? Alguna vez has probado. Tratado, no, right? Probado. Have you tried sushi? No, I haven't, but I like to. Very good. Let's see the next one. Did you? Did you what? Ahí que falta. Eat. 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 No, eat. 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 Okay, some people say eat, some people say eat. 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 Okay, let's see. Eat because we. Yes, yes, I. Yes, I have. That is the answer. Yes, I have. No. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I, did. Uh -huh. I had a huge breakfast. Let's see. Did you have breakfast today? We can say also eat, right? Because it's auxiliary. Yes. But in this case, is did you have breakfast today? Yes, I did. I ate a huge breakfast. Let's see next one. Have you ever? We have a lot of possibilities. Give me one. Have you eaten. ever? Eaten? I had you ever tried. Have Mexican you ever food. tried? Very good. Have you ever tried Mexican food? Mm -hmm. The answer? I have. Yes, I have. Uh -huh. Very good. Yes, I have. In fact, I had, right? Or I ate some last I week. Ate. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Yes, I have. In fact, I ate some last week. Very good, very good. You see, that's how we combine uh, the present perfect and the simple past. Here, this one is in simple past, okay? Next one. This one is together. It says, did you coffee this morning? Yes, I some on my way to work. And the answer is, did you drink, right? Did you drink coffee this morning? Yes, I did. I had I did. some on my way to work. Yes, because he's asking me with the simple pass. So that is uh, actually the, the questions that we have for today, or actually the, the exercises. We have also um, this, like this is a, a review for the present perfect, <laughs> present perfect. First, the past events. We use it for past events. Second one, recent past events. And the third one, unfinished states. Past events is the present perfect simple indicates that something happened in the past, but we don't know when it happened. Cuando dice que el presente perfecto lo usamos en el pasado, pero no sabemos cuándo, se refiere que, por ejemplo, tenemos esta línea de tiempo y aquí está el pasado desde el día que yo nací, por decirlo así, ¿verdad? Hasta el presente. Entonces, en todo este pasado, 
puede haber sucedido, porque no sabemos exactamente cuándo pasó. So that's what, that's what it means, right? We don't know when it happened. So we don't know it could be in this, all, all this past, since the date I was born till the present. For example, I've been to Australia in the past, but we don't know when. Have you ever been to America? No, I've never been to America. Also talking about recent past events. Mom, have you finished cooking dinner yet? Yes, I've just made your favorite para eventos pasados recientes, ¿verdad? And also talking about unfinished states. We've known each other for two weeks now. Yes, and we've had a great time. Also, we use different words with the present perfect. For example, for, for we use it for periods of time, for an hour, for two days, for the last 10, 10 years. So for lo usamos para periodos de tiempo, por una hora, por dos días, por los últimos diez años. We use for. And since, what is the meaning of since? Desde. Desde, very good. We use since for starting point of time. Since last night, desde la noche pasado, desde anoche. Since um, three months ago, since the 1980s, right? Desde los 80. Entonces, we use since to, to express a starting point of time. And these are some examples. I worked here for four years. Yeah. This restaurant has been famous since 2001. Este restaurante ha sido famoso desde el 2001. Or I've never been to America. Never es nunca, ¿verdad? I've never mm. been to America. And yet, eh, what is the meaning of yet? Todavía. 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 In this case, is I haven't made dinner yet, ¿verdad? Todavía no he hecho la cena mm. o aún, ¿verdad? I haven't made dinner yet. Aún no he hecho la cena. Pero nosotros usamos más eh, todavía, ¿verdad? And this is a conversation. It says, Isabel, I went to the Sunrise Beach last week. Have you ever been to Sunrise? So this is a trip, right? This is talking about a trip. And it's about Isabel went to the beach, right? And we have to complete it. Vamos a completar esta conversación utilizando el presente, el pasado simple y el presente perfecto. So, I went to the Sunrise Beach last week. Have you ever been to Sunrise Beach, Andy? Yes, I. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. It's beautiful. And then it says, you go there on the weekend. So, we have a hint here. Go, Did right? You. Did you exactly? Did, did you go? You. Did you go there on the weekend? Yeah, I. I do. I did. I, I did. did. I did. I did. I yes. did. Yes. I did. I. What is the past of go? What is the past of? I go? went. I went. Very good. On I went Sunday. on Sunday. Sunday. I. Uh, up at uh, 4 a.m. Wake up. I, I got up. up. I got yeah. up. Exactly. Wow. I've. It's what? No. I. <laughs> that early. Get up. Okay. I. But yeah, probably I've never. I've never gotten up never, that early, verdad? Nunca me he levantado tan temprano, verdad? Oh, it wasn't so bad. Have you ever? Been. Been, yeah, probably been to the beach early. To the beach early. To see, to see the sunrise. See. No, I. No, I. Haven't. 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 Very good. No, I haven't. I prefer sunsets to sunrises. Okay, sunsets es atardecer, ¿verdad? Y sunrise es amanecer, sunrise. So sunrise. Okay, very good. So we are going to check the conversation right now. It says, I went, I went to the Sunrise Beach last week. Have you ever been to Sunrise Beach, Andy? Yes, I have. It's beautiful. Did you go there on the weekend? Yeah, I did. I went on Sunday. I woke up at 4 a.m. Wow, I have never woken up that early. 
Nunca me he levantado tan temprano. I have never woken up that early. Oh, it wasn't so bad. Have you ever been to the beach early to see the sunrise? No, I haven't. I prefer sunsets to sunrises. Okay, do you want to practice the conversation? Yes, no? Volunteers, no? Yes, teacher. Okay, teacher. Yes, okay. Who wants to participate? Me. Jenny. Me, teacher Luis. Okay, Luis, Urias, and Jenny. And then we are going to practice with Gabriela Cortez, okay? Okay, Jenny, go ahead. I went to the Sunrise Beach last week. Have you ever been to Sunrise Beach, Andy? Beach, Andy? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. It's beautiful. Did you go there on the weekend? Yeah, I did. I went on Sunday. I, wo I woke up at 4 a.m. Wow, I have never woke up that early. Oh, it wasn't so bad. <clears throat> Have you ever been to the beach early to see the sunrise? No, I haven't. I prefer sunset to sunrise. Teacher, your microphone is off. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> so the past participle of wake up is... What is the past participle of wake up? Woken up. Woken up. Woken up. Exactly. Woken up. Woken up. Very good. So uh, we are going to practice with Gabriela Cortez now. And do we have another volunteer? Me. Who said me? Me, me teacher. <laughs> okay. Okay. Who said me? Ba Ba a Rufino, right? Yeah. Okay, Rufino. Okay, you can practice. And also. You will start, Gabriela. Okay, Gabriela, go uh, ahead. I went to the Sunrise Beach last week. I have you ever been to Sunrise Beach, Andy? Yes, I have. It's beautiful. Did you go there on the weekend? Yeah. I did. I went to on Sunday. I woke up woke up at 4 a.m. Wow. I have never woken up that early. Oh, it wasn't too bad. Have you ever been to the beach early to see in the sunrise? No, I haven't. I prefer sunset to sunrise to sunrises. Very good. I prefer sunset to sunrises. Very good. Very mm. good. Now, um, I guess that we have another another pair. Who said me besides Rufino and Gabriela? Thank you, Gabriela and Rufino. Great job. Who else? Nobody? Natalia. Okay. We are going to have the last uh, pair, Natalia and who else? Estela? Yes. Estela. Okay, very good. So we are going yeah. to have Natalia and Estela. Go ahead. Estela, I went to the Sunrise Beach last week. Have you ever been to Sunrise Beach, Andy? Yes, I have. It, it is beautiful. Did you go there on the weekend? The weekend? Yeah. yeah, I did. I went on Sunday. I woke up at 4 a.m. Wow. I have never woken, woke up, woken up. Oh, that it's, oh, it wasn't so bad. Have you ever been to the beach early to see the sunrise? No, I haven't. I prefer sunset to sunrise. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much, Stella. Thank you very much, Natalia. So what we are going to do right now is because I can see here that probably uh, past participles are new for you. So we are going to 
practice them, okay? Because it seems that probably the, the pronunciation is kind of difficult. So we are going to practice just the these kind of verbs, right? For example, the first one is the verb to be. So we are going just to check the pronunciation and then we are going to put it into practice, okay? So it's the present, the simple past and the past participle. We have be, was, were, and been, okay? That is the pronunciation. Now we have do, did, done, eat, ate, eaten, right? It's not eating because eating is with ing, right? So it's eaten. Feel, what is the meaning of feel? What is the meaning of feel? Sentir. Sentir, very good. So the present is feel, felt, and felt. What is the meaning of fine? Buscar. Encontrar. 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 Very good. No buscar, encontrar. So it's no. fine, found, found, and found. found. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of get? Conseguir. Conseguir. Very good. Obtener. Get, got, y gotten. Right? Get, got, gotten. Give. What is the meaning of give? Give. That. That. Very good. So it's give. Gave, gave, given, 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 exactly. Given. Go, it's common, right? It's go. go is everybody knows that. Go, yes. went, went, gone. gone, exactly. Have this is not the auxiliary with the present perfect, right? This is have is tener in this case have as tener. a verb, right? Yes. Tener, had and had. That is the past and the past participle. Here, what is here? Here. Need. Oír, uh -huh. oír, oír, hear, heard, heard, right? No, no. What is the meaning of no? Conocer, conocer, conocer saber, conocer. exactly. So no is new. new. That is the past, and the past participle is noun, no. noun, noun. I've known, or I've known. Sorry, I've known. Sorry, yes, it is to know. Leave. What is the meaning leave. of leave? Dejar. 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 Dejar, yes. And the past is left. Left. Left, right? Left. Read. What is the meaning of, I'm sorry, make? Make. What is it? make. Hacer. Make. Hacer. Hacer. Something that we make with, with the hands, right? Make. Yes. Make. So make, made, and made, made right? Made. Read. Read. Leer. 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 Very good. Read. Read. And the past is it is read. Same. It's the same. Read. It's the same writing. But the pronunciation is different. different. Okay. Yes. Uh, the present is read and the past is red. Red. Like yes. the color, como el color, red. Red. And the past participle is red also. Red. Read, red, red. Say, what is the meaning of say? Decir. 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 And the past is said, right? Said. Said. And also said. the past participle, said. See. See, see, right? See. Yes, see. So. So. Seen. Seen. Tell. What is the meaning of tell? Take. Take. Tell. Oh, oh tell. The seal. Oh, sorry. Yes. Take. Take. What take. is the meaning of take? Tomar. 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 And the past is took. Took. And the past part is taken. 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 Very good. Taken. Tell. The seal, right? The seal. The past is tall, and the past participle is tall. Think. What is think. the meaning of think? Pensar. Pensar. And the past is thought. 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 And also the past participle. And write. Escribir. Write. Escribir. Write. Escribir. Wrote. Written. Wrote. Written. Wrote. Written. Okay. Exactly. So that will be the past participle. Something that uh, that is or that we use for the past participle, we use it also with, uh, as an adjective, right? Sometimes. So we can use it as adjectives also. So we are going to answer some questions right now and you can put into practice the present perfect and the past, the simple past, because we have studied the, the rules, the grammar, the formulas, everything, right? So we have these questions. Now I want you to answer all of these questions, okay? Um, I don't know if somebody or have you ever been on a diet? Someone here? 
Have you ever been on a diet? What is diet? Dieta. Dieta, exactly. Yes. So have you ever been on a diet or you have no. never been on a diet? No, never. 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 None of you? You have never been on a diet? Actually, I'm in a diet. Levy, you're in, on a diet. Yeah. Uh, what kind of diet? Do you, you want to lose weight or gain weight? I think that I want to... <sighs> gain. Gain, gain weight. So gain how many weight. times in a day do you eat? ¿Cuántas veces al día come, Levi? Levi, are you there? Do you have connection Sorry, problem? I, I cannot hear you, huh? Oh, okay. So how many times do you do you how many times do you eat in a day? Actually, um I'm start this week. You started this Sorry. week? Yes. Okay, and your diet, uh what do you eat? What kind of food? Or I eat a lot of uh, meat. Uh, also, I'm eating chicken, fish, uh, protein. Protein. Okay, very good. So you're trying to gain weight because I think that you work out, right? Yes. Yes, I did the opposite. I, I I was on a diet, but some months ago, it was horrible because <laughs> you have, yes, it was horrible because you have to eat like almost the same thing. Like I was just trying to lose some weight and the diet was chicken, right? Just grilled chicken and with vegetables and that's it. Like chicken, vegetables, chicken, vegetables, and that's it. And sometimes <laughs> we were able to eat like different things but for example at 4 p.m uh we eat normally we eat coffee and pastry right pan dulce right? but i ate with coffee teacher yes with coffee <laughs> but when i was on a diet i ate cucumber just cucumber jicama mm -hmm. just, just things like that so for me it was a very bad experience but it, it worked it worked i lost i lost some weight it was very good <laughs> Next one, it says, have you ever danced bachata? Have you ever danced bachata? Any of you? Yes. Yes, Mr. Ria, yes. you have danced bachata? Yes, yes. When? Yes. I when? like dance. You like and to dance? Mm -hmm. Yes. When uh, I was go to Costa Rica at the six, uh, marketing strategic of Latin America. Mm -hmm. And uh, we and um, the, the people in the Costa Rica uh, invite uh, to dance at night. And one person dance and teach, mm -hmm. explain, teach uh, bachata. Y agarró uno por uno a enseñarnos. One by uno. one. One by one, yes. So you learned there how to dance bachata. <laughs> mom, yeah, mom, 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 man. <laughs> very good. And and it was fun for you. It was a good experience. Mm, yes. 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 So now you can dance bachata, right? Yes. I cannot dance bachata. I, I've never danced bachata before. Next one, have you ever visited Antigua? Antigua is, I guess, in Guatemala, right? Antigua, Antigua? Guatemala. Yes. Have you, have you ever visited Guatemala? Any of you? Yes. Yes? Who yes. else besides Mr. Luis? Mm, well, uh, after, um, after the pandemia. After the pandemic. You After visited pandemic. Antigua, Guatemala. Antigua, Guatemala. For okay. For two, three days only. Three days. Yes. Okay. Very good. I visited, but long time ago. Long time ago. Long time ago. I yes. visited a long time ago. Yes. yes, I visited a long time ago. Next one. It says, "Have you ever eaten a vegetarian dish?" 
Yes, right. Everybody, I think that everybody has eaten vegetarian dishes like salads, right? Everybody or or those kind of dishes, right? It's just vegetarian, just just vegetables, right? Vegetable. Next one Delicious. is: Have you ever danced with someone you don't like? Have you ever danced with someone you don't like? Jenny or Carla, Alba, Crisia, Olivia, Gabriela. We have Astrid, we have Luis, Erna, Luis Enriquez, Liliana. Have you ever danced with someone you don't like? No? No, yes. no I haven't. No, you haven't. No, I haven't. No, okay, very good. So no, I haven't. <laughs> every time you dance, you dance with people you like. Because probably in in <laughs> yes, because sometimes in in 15 años parties when we uh, we have to dance with people we don't know right or, or we don't like right have you experienced that no yes teacher yes, yes. I have <laughs> you <Yes. laughs> You, Natalia, you have done with someone you don't like. Yes, this is sometimes. Why? Why you have done with someone you don't like? Mm -hmm. The Porque person don't like teacher. The person, your person didn't like you, or you mm -hmm. didn't like the person. Didn't like the person. You didn't like the person. Why? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but. I try to dance uh, this person for I sometimes I would like to be polite with person. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have to be polite with people. <laughs> and but you dance and then you finish the song and then bye bye. You said bye. Or you continue the fourth t shirt. When finish the song, uh -huh. uh, I said thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. So you always polite, right? Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, it was a bad experience, probably, but you have to be polite, as you said. Next one says, Have you ever eaten something uncooked? Something that you don't cook, right? Have you ever eaten something uncooked? Yes. I... You're fino, you have, I right? have. Mm -hmm. I have. Yes, I have uh, uh, some time uh, the cook uh, and cook. And cook, food, what, what, the, yes. the one kind of, cooker. what kind of food, what kind of food, sushi or? Chicken. What? Yes, que tipo de comida es la que comió que no estaba cocinada? What kind of food have you eaten that it wasn't cooked? Um, or, uh, Years ago, uh -huh. uh, and uh, and the travel, uh -huh. I, the, the person, the family give 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 me food and uh, soup, soup uh, the pig, pig soup, the pig, a uh, pig soup, uh, is, uh, the food, uh, the carne, yeah, the, the carne. meat, the meat, the, the meat. A, a, a cooker. It wasn't cooked. A little bit of cooker. Uh -huh. A little bit. Yes, I go. A little bit of cooker. But but if you eat pig meat, like from pork, if you eat pork that is uncooked, that is unhealthy. That is dangerous, right? Because of the parasites. Yes. For parasites. But, uh, uh -huh. I I, ha I have to, I have, I have, I have to eat you for 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 life for the family give give me um, the soup. I don't I don't say uh, I don't. You I didn't, didn't say, say no. Thank I you. I didn't no. say I did mm -hmm. no. Thank you for okay. for life. And it was uh, it was good. It was the taste was good. The flavor was good or no? It wasn't. What's the what's the flavor uh, good? Uh, not good. Not good. Did you get sick? Uh, 
I, I do, I don't, I, I didn't, no me enfermé. I, <laughs> I didn't get sick. I didn't get sick. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank God, right? Thank God. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> very good. Very good experience, Rufino. But yes, you have to be careful okay. with pork, right? If it is uncooked, it can be dangerous. The now, chicken too, teacher. The chicken too? Yeah. If, yeah, I, if the is uncooked, mm -hmm. uh, the chicken transmite la my son, my son uh, two months ago. Two months ago. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, are sick with uh, if I did mm, I don't remember the salmonella. Uh, salmonella salmonella yes yes salmonella yes. because the the chicken need three thousand six degrees, degrees. Mm -hmm. yes and he got sick stomach yes. ache and a vomiting and vomiting um headache and headache and and the other uh, symptoms symptoms it was really bad yeah. right yes 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 you see it's, 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 yes it's dangerous it's dangerous it's dangerous yes yes next one it says have you ever born food have you ever born food alguna vez se le ha quemado la comida a alguien aquí have you ever born food Never, Sometimes. right? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Who? Many, yes, many. El agua, the water. <laughs> the water for the coffee. <laughs> okay, Griselda, you born the food also? Yeah, the rice or, or the beans. The and rice or beans. See, it's when I, when I, the children. Mm -hmm. It's. Is the the fried flat bananas? Mm -hmm. So when you oh, were a, when you were a child, cuando era niña, when you yeah. were oh when yeah. you were starting cooking, yes, when you were learning. Yeah. Okay, I am learning the cook. Okay, when I, you were learning to cook, you burn the food, the rice, the beans, everything. Yeah. Okay, but that's normal, right? That's normal when we start like cooking that's normal next one have you ever eaten something you didn't like we we know right rufino ate the soup the pork soup that wasn't cooked he didn't like it have you eaten something you didn't like before any of you jenny gabriela yes. liliana luis enriquez balmory yes. astrid yes what did you eat Mm, avocado terrina. Av av avocado? Terrina. Terrina. What is that? It was a, a first dish in a party. Mm -hmm. And it's a combination between <laughs> avocado and tomato oh. with a jelly consistent. But I dislike the the food because all of of guests of the party left the 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 first stitch. Okay, I understand. So that is like a combination of tomato and avocado, right? Or avocado. Okay, okay very good. And parece you una it. a mm -hmm. piece of of watermelon. Ah, it's like watermelon. Uh, but, you didn't, but it seems it seems like one okay, very good. <laughs> but you didn't like it you didn't finish okay very good thank you Tatiana for your participation next one it says have you have you ever lost money yes right yes everybody have lost money I lost money when I was going to a party I didn't have money for the taxi so uh, it was a really bad experience. Have you ever lost money, Estela? Yes. Yes. Uh, how? How? What? 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 How did you lose? How did you lose the money? What happened? Mm. No. <laughs> what happened? Um. 
last week was last month. Mm -hmm. I lost ten dollars. Ten dollars. Yes. And how you didn't find it in your purse or in your wallet? In my house. In your house. And what happened? You didn't buy food that day or? <laughs> yeah, you don't know what happened. You lost them and that's it. Okay. Okay, very good, Estela. Probably you will find them one day, right? Probably. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe, hopefully. Next one. Have you ever told lies? Never, right? Never, right, Balmore? <laughs> Have you ever told lies, Balmore? Yes. Actually, yes. when I was a child, I would always say a lot of <laughs> a lot of lies. Mm, one one time ago, let me remember when I was a child in the in the store of the school. I stole a bubble gum, uh -huh. and uh, I said uh, to the set, to the ah, give me one moment. I said that to the to the store seller, and I wasn't me because I didn't have money in that moment. Mm. That's why I told the lie. Okay, but that was a long time ago, right? When we were a child. Yes. And you but didn't nowadays, but nowadays, I am honest. You are, you are honest. Okay, that's really yes. good. You never told lies. Okay, very good. No. Yeah, actually, I think that everybody has stolen something in the past, right? I, I stole some oranges when I was a kid also from a store, but I guess that everybody has done things like that. Let's see, Astrid. Astrid, sorry. Have you ever baked a cake? No, I haven't, but I made a cheesecake one, one day. Okay, that was recently, like in, or that was a long time ago? Um, maybe three weeks, three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Okay, very good. Very good. So I guess that we have, I with the conversation, I lost track of time. And it seems that we have finished the class already. But the conversation was really good. That's how you need to practice, right? And for tomorrow, we are going to have more conversation for the people who didn't participate. I need you to investigate someone uh, who has traveled to another country, for example, or someone who had cried at the end of a movie, someone who has met someone famous, find someone who has had an exotic pet, someone who has born in another country, or someone who was born in the 1940s, 30s, 50s, right? Or find someone who can play an instrument. And you will tell me who this person is, can be your parents or your relative, your friend. Find someone who has like a story that you can share with us, okay? This is uh, for the people who didn't participate today, okay? So they can participate tomorrow, okay? And try to use the simple past and the present perfect. Do you have any question? No questions, okay. No question, okay. So remember to use the structure, the grammar and the vocabulary, and I will see you tomorrow, okay? Have a okay, nice teacher. evening. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. 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 bye.